for another great moment in harness racing, we're going to return again to the Prix d'Amérique in France for 1964. One thing I want to talk about, first of all, is no starting gate. Well, they had, in those days didn't have a starting game, and then they used it for about five or six years. Now they've gone back to the old count and start, one, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. And you better be turning on your way. With a large... And no post position. Large field of horses, 19. That's right. You mean it's first come, first serve? That's right, and you just, there's no post position, just go up there and when somebody isn't, just get in there and go. First time I drove it in 59, somebody made a break and run right out and just cut me out. Of, I never had a chance. That's when Jalman won, and I had a little chance to get money, I think. Do they accept uh, objections? No, yes, they accept objections, but uh, you know when a horse makes a break, you have to get him out of the way, and, <laughs> and he got him out of the way, but he hit me. We also notice when we look at this piece of footage that the Sockies are a bit different than what we're used to seeing here in the U.S. Well, they race to a longer uh, sulky. It's a sulky yet, really, but there's no springs on it. But now, they've, in the last uh, five or six years, they raced off to our new sulkies. Driver would set farther back from yes, there. Yes, and be, uh, when you're strung out with a uh, half length more of the uh, right. sulky, you're further away. That's so true. The Prix d'Amérique in 1964 will be won by Nike Hanover, who raced in the U.S. Uh, Dick Buxton, I believe, had the horse, and then later uh, was sent overseas. That's right. He was owned by Don Millar, who's in uh, Executive Secretary of the United States Trotting Association. Nike Hanover will be driven in the Prix d'Amérique by Hans Froming, who at that particular point in his career and continued right up into the early 80s, was the winningest driver in harness racing. That's right. He won more races than any other driver, and he was the one that I had trained Delmonica Hanover and drove Delmonica Hanover for his last win in the uh, Premium Reek. Let's take another look at a great moment in harness racing as Nike Hanover wins the Premium Reek in 1964. A dark and gloomy day in Paris as 19 horses go to the starting line for the 39th running of the rich Prix de Marique. The horses start on the turn and come downhill in the first rush past the grandstand. This is a 2,600 meter race, about a mile and five eighths, and there are three entries from the U.S. all far back in the pack. Stands number 14, Patera, is running easily in the lead. He's a French horse who has won his last six races and went off as the third favorite. At the top of the back stretch, there's trouble brewing for Patera. As the crowd screams, he slips, falls, and his rider is thrown from the sulky. Naki Hanover takes the lead as Patera pulls the empty sulky along the rail. Still striving to get home first, he's squeezed towards the infield and crashes through the fence. Nike Hanover runs the rest of the pack right into the ground. At 81 to 1, he goes over in the second fastest time for this classic. Patara and Driver are both uninjured, and the hero of the day is the American horse who now lives in Italy.